Hi, this is Ryan from BetterTattooing.com. Today I'm begging you all out there, rest your eyes. <laughs> All right, now that that's over, resting your eyes. This is an integral part of upkeep if you're gonna be a tattooer for long term. So we're gonna be doing a couple of videos about this stuff. This is general maintenance for a tattooer who's out there, how to take care of yourself uh, to ensure that you can keep working, you know. Um, let's just hit you with some stats here. I forgot where I pulled these up before. <sighs> but what we end up with, sorry, I just burped, super rude. Um, the average tattooer has a burnout rate of somewhere between three to five years in the industry. Uh, this is including apprenticeship or time working outside a shop before getting an apprenticeship before they become quote unquote professional. Um, this is a short period of time. You don't get to hear too many times where people, you know, who are you know, auto mechanics or plumbers or whatever, the, you know, their burnout rate is so low, usually because there's you know, better apprenticeships that are gonna go into this, which I don't wanna get into that either right now today, but still a little sick, sorry. I'm just, you know, I'm mellow. Um, <clears throat> Theraflu, what up? I probably shouldn't say that. The copyright TMTM, TM, whoever owns that shit. Um, so with a, with a burnout rate like this, you gotta start asking yourself, like, why does that happen, right? So there's usually gonna be a multitude of like psychological, physical, interpersonal, like, like lifestyle factors that can do that. And I wanna pick apart these, a few of these things, bit by bit, to address this burnout rate, because I think it's important. I mean, you can have some amazing, amazing artists who are really just doing so good that get burnt out and it can be because their body gives up their you know maybe their mind gives up maybe their lifestyle is just way too hard to, to commingle with this stuff maybe they don't make enough money and they're forced to give up right so the first one i think is the easiest to address because like literally if you can't see what you're doing and you utilize sight for your tattoos <laughs> You, you're not gonna do well if you lose your eyes. And this is sometimes the first things to go. Um, there are gonna be symptoms of your eyes getting tired. And let's just go with just tired eyes. You get tired eyes of tattooing, you've been working seven days a week, 17 hours a day. Uh, you've been going for eight months straight. This is, I did, I did that for about three and a half years once. My eyes were absolutely torched after about eight months. This is kind of pulling off a personal experience on this one. Um, what, what, are, what are your tired eyes, right? You're gonna have a hard time focusing. Hard time focusing. Sorry, I still cannot multitask. So hard time focusing. This with your eyes, not not like your mental projection, you know, attentiveness with your client or whatever. You're gonna have a hard time actually focusing on what you're doing. You may end up squinting. You may lean in a little bit closer. You may have just issues that, like when this is, the skin is vibrating, moving up and down, that vibration can almost look like a blur to some people, especially when you first start tattooing. And looking at a blurry image for seven hours can tire your eyes out, right? You'll have a hard time focusing on stuff, especially if you're, yeah, relatively new to this stuff. Um, other things gonna happen, you can get headaches, right? Um, my first like five years tattooing, I had migraines after every tattoo. I was chewing Advil like it was going out of style. TM, TM. Um, it was awful. Um, I was able to help this the most just by resting my eyes, right? That was, one of the biggest things, I mean, past like actual body positioning and not sitting, you know, hunched over, like all locked in, not bending, not moving, just relaxing my eyes by, by doing a simple exercise. I'm gonna tell you in a second here, got rid of the headaches almost instantly. Um, another thing you're gonna have uh, is you're just gonna get tired, right? This is all just fatigue symptoms, right? That fatigue, if you're having it every day, is going to help lead to this burnout. And that's something that, yeah, we really need to address in this industry because we need to stop losing good people just because they were never trained how to tattoo, you know, in a safe manner, especially for themselves. So let's go over this. How do you rest your eyes? Okay, first thing. So every 45 minutes, to one hour. Stop <laughs> tattooing. Now this, 
this is going to be hard for some people because if you get in the zone, you're feeling it, you got your music playing, everything is great. You just, you want it, you feel good. You want to keep doing it. You're getting that dopamine dump, serotonin rocking through your system because you're just crushing that tattoo. I hate to tell you, you got to stop. Just stop. Get up. Walk away from the tattoo just for a second. We get to see a lot of people who um, smoke cigarettes. Uh, vape things like this that take advantage of this because that's when their nicotine crash happens and those are the people who actually usually last the longest through the day right they're able to deal with the most clients they're able just to like back up and do stuff they don't tend to have as many headaches and it's not because they're using nicotine it's because they're actually resting their eyes right they're getting up they're separating and they're just actually giving space for their eyes to focus on things at different distances and to relax the muscles that are there so that they can just start to act normal again. If you're fixed on a single space in front of you for seven hours without moving, your eyes will become tired. You need to stop, look up. People say, okay, sorry, Ryan. Every time I dip in my ink cap, I am taking a break. No, you're not. So the distance that you're gonna be coming into this, <laughs> you get, <laughs> the space is infinitesimal. <laughs> Having, <laughs> A foot difference between your face and where you're dipping is not going to give your eyes enough stretch. It's still too close, right? So you want to get up in that one hour, every 45 minutes to an hour, and stretch your eyes, right? So this is it. That's how you rest. Stretch. You're going to stretch them. How do you stretch your eyes? You get up, you move around, just do something. Get out of the shop for a second, or if it's really cold or really hot where you're at, find a space that has a lot of depth. Maybe you have a very long hallway, or maybe there's just a window at the front where you can see across the street, or maybe you can go out back, you know, where the smokers are and stuff. Stand a safe distance away from them so you're not getting that secondhand smoke or vape cloud. And just find a space that is as far away as you could possibly try to focus on. I always like picking, we live in the, you know, <clears throat> on the west coast of North America, and I, we've got mountains. So I can focus on a mountain range and like really pick it up and I can, and it's far enough away that my eyes have to shift from looking at something that's very close to me to something that's very, very, very far away. So that'll utilize the muscles in your eyes. It makes them contract differently, right? What I'll do is I'll look from something far away to something medium distance. If I'm standing at a window, maybe in the front of the shop I can see the mountains. I'm gonna look at the shop across the street. Good 40, 50 feet away. Perfect. Look at it for about two, three seconds. And then I'm going to look at my hand up close within a foot. And I'm going to cycle that about 10 times with like three to five seconds looking at each one each time. And then I'm just going to close my eyes for a second. Let them kind of get a bit. Sorry, man, my stomach is super upset today. Let them get a little bit moist again. I'll open my eyes and just let my vision blur. And when it blurs, I'm gonna close my eyes again, kind of give my head a bit of a shake, and then start focusing on my tattoo again. I can go back and do what I need to do. That's how you rest your eyes. You literally have to go far, mid, near, far, mid, near, or far, mid, near, mid, far, mid, near, right? You gotta like stretch those muscles, utilize them. If you don't do that, your eyes will fatigue and you will start suffering the consequences of this and you may suffer burnout and you may like wanna up and quit. So, that's it. Rest your eyes. This is helpful tips number one. How's that? This is Ryan from BetterTattooing.com signing off.